Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. The Psyche spacecraft is due to launch tomorrow on a Falcon Heavy, head out to the Psyche asteroid. And so we have a case of the spacecraft being named after its destination for the first time in a while, I feel like. Uh, but this is a NASA model of the spacecraft that I have adapted. And, uh, well, there's been some flaws. <laughs> but... Uh, I will still link it in the video description, but let me tell you about the flaws. We're going to launch it and test it. But the main flaw is that when I extend the solar panel, on only one side comes up. <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, it's been a struggle to get this all done, especially since the original model was 330 megabytes. That was just the model, not the textures. Uh, it had 5 million polygons. So I've cut that down. And this peculiarity of the animation, uh, it's not a problem with Blender. Blender has both sides of the soul panel extending just fine. And by the way, those are not the only parts of the animation. Uh, we also have the ion thrusters extending here. So this spacecraft uses four ion thrusters, and they each produce 280 millinewtons. So all four put together, uh, that's one newton. <laughs> but which is pretty good actually as far as ion thrusters are concerned. They only get 1,800 seconds of ISP though, which is not that great. Uh, so anyway, this was the NASA model and I used, ex I made extensive use of the decimate modifier in order to get the polygons down and still there's just a ton of objects on it. Uh, if you look down in the corner, uh, there's 1,469 objects. That's separate meshes. So it's been hard to deal with and I cut it down as much as I could. But it's still gonna be a hefty mod. It'll look good though. Hopefully it looks like the real thing. Um, right now this doesn't have all the textures on it. Uh, well, let's go to Unity since I'm talking about how Kerbal is messing up this animation. Here's the Psyche in Unity and it has the textures. though not the shininess that's applied by Textures Unlimited. But if we take a look at our sort of preview for the animation in Unity uh, and I Click deploy, you see both solar panels go out. So I, I've been spending a whole day trying to figure out why why Kerbal doesn't want both solar panels to go out. And you know, the ion engines deploy as well. They're sort of folded up initially and I've deployed them. And you can see them go like that. And then if we go back to the game, you'll note that the ion thrusters actually do deploy. So there's four different sort of animation things happening here and only one fails. Those both deploy, but the solar panel doesn't. So, if anybody has any idea, it probably won't be included in my real spacecraft pack until I can figure this out. And right now I can't figure it out. I have no idea why it should be that that solar panel doesn't pop up. I've even got the solar panel sun tracking working and these don't have this. Okay, anyway. Uh, let us pack it up, launch it, and make sure that the RCS thrusters and ion thrusters work and the solar panel that does extend actually does its solar panel things. So, without further ado... Okay, so we're at pad 39B because at pad 39A I still have the shuttle accoutrement, so uh, we can't use that. So we're at pad 39B, and throttle up, SAS is on, ignition. And launch. All right. Um, I think the grid fins might be working. And okay, we had a brief pause in sound. All sorts of things are happening here. Now we don't actually have Psyche in the game. As far as I know, real solar system does not come with Psyche. So we're just going to have to launch it. And if somebody knows if some add-on to RSS has Psyche, please do tell me so that we can do the mission properly, but for now, I do not have that. Okay, I'm gonna throttle down the core using this function, otherwise it's gonna run out at the same time as the boosters. And unfortunately these are still configured with real plume and we get a lot of lag when running 27 engines like this. Probably going steeper than I want. Anyway, not the main thing, we're just trying to get the Psyche spacecraft into orbit to test it. Uh, we don't even have anywhere to boost it to right now, so... This is the old uh, Kartoffel Kuchin model from 
KK launchers. I don't know if an update has been done. The P.E.K.K.A. is a model of the Falcon system. Uh, I have not installed that in here yet, since I already have this one. I should try that out at some point. Okay, booster set. I didn't really preserve any fuel. Though I did reserve the residuals. I got about reserving fuel for the return. I thought I had a KOS script for Falcon Heavy, but on reviewing it, it didn't seem like it had the throttle down for the core, so I decided not to use it. But I certainly had one for the recovery of the boosters I did a video of. I'm not too sure what happened to that. We seem to be going a little bit high here. It is a very light payload. Uh, it's only 2.6 tons. Of course, the upper stage of Falcon is supposed to send it on to its destination, so... So, it is light on that upper stage. Okay, separation and ignition. And I was unsure whether they would release the fairings prior to igniting the upper stage, but I'm gonna release now. Lots of Delta V here to boost to Psyche with. Okay, so a lopsided orbit, but I have reached orbit with 6,600 meters per second available for a transfer, which should be enough. And, well, we did uh, fail to reserve fuel in the boosters, so we got some extra from that. The actual spacecraft does have the ion engines to work with. Anyway, let's... Oh, did that not separate? Ah, oh, gosh darn it. Uh, I didn't realize the payload adapter didn't was gonna do its payload adapting things. Okay, that decoupler doesn't work, but let's just activate stuff and see whether it works. So, extending the solar panel. Again, only one seems to want to extend. And then it does track the sun. Where is the sun? The sun is there. Hmm. It's sort of going at a 90 degree angle, to, well, an angle to it. I'll have to think about that. It's not a 90 degree angle, it's like somewhat askew. I don't know why. Oh, all the mysteries. But it would recharge at that angle, so that part is okay. I just don't know why it's sort of edge on. <laughs> it's, not, it's not exactly edge on to the sun. It's like maybe 60 degrees? Strange thing. Yeah, I don't understand that one. But the other solar panel does not work. Let's check the RCS. So uh, let me turn off the RCS from here. This one has various thrusters, and let's just make sure it can turn the entire stage around. They're not that powerful. They're maybe a hundred newtons. Let's see how they handle themselves with that thing attached. If they can, then that's a pretty good sign, right? Now in Blender and Unity. Uh, it, these panels didn't have these lines, so that's another quirk of the model. In some light, it seems to have those lines visible. Those lines are because the mesh is stretched between... There are certain holes in the solar panel for um, how the solar panel gets sort of secured onto the stage and the panels are secured to each other kind of thing. So there are little holes with mechanisms for that. And when they made the mesh, I, I think they've, they weren't very good about making those gaps for, uh, gaps Kerbal safe, let's say. So, yeah, they're not exactly Kerbal safe. Now for the ion thrusters, we have very, very, very low thrust, of course. The solar panels are what NASA said they should have. Our load of xenon gas is correct. The load of hydrazine is by extrapolation between uh, what the total mass of the spacecraft is minus the mass of the xenon gas, which was stated. We have that number. And then the empty mass of the spacecraft, which we also have that number. So I assume that what was left was hydrazine. Seem reasonable. I, d I don't know if these thrusters are supposed to be hydrazine thrusters, but on previous spacecraft they tended to use hydrazine and xenon gas. So I assume that was the case. So, oh, uh, let's not actually light the Merlin engine. 
Uh, the little spacecraft did manage to turn the entire stage to normal, and I'm going to light the little ion engines. And so they are operating. It says current thrust 34 newtons. I think I gave it... well, no, this says 0.1 kilonewtons. I think I made it nicer for the sake of our sanity. Mm. Instead of having what would amount to 1 newton, we have 100 times that. I don't know why it says 34 newtons. That doesn't make any sense. Should be 112 newtons or 11.2 newtons or 1.12 newtons. As far as why they're so splayed out like that, that's how the original NASA model had them. Uh, but technically they're on pivots. But I haven't managed to figure out how to tell the game how to use those as gimbals. So. Uh, basically, they could turn more if they wanted to, and they can also roll. There is sort of a roll section to the pivot. But for now, this will have to do. Let me revert and then sort of cheat it into orbit this time, so that we can get free of the stage and in its full glory. Okay, so here we are, cheated into orbit. Sorry about that, but it's not my fault that that decoupler didn't work. So I'll try to fix the problems with this, but you saw in Blender and in Unity, the solar panel extends. So I have no idea why it doesn't extend here in Kerbal Space Program. And that is a frustration. Now we see the proper delta V of this, uh, even though the thrusters are angled. I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're angled, so they're not getting their full efficiency. If I can figure out how to put a good gimbal module on that, I'll try to, but I might just have the animation tilt them all the way out instead of the way they are now. But even so, we have 5,000 meters per second. It'd take you a day and 22 hours to use it. And it's saying 34 newtons for some reason, even though I don't remember writing that number in anywhere. Uh, so it's, it's 34 newtons somehow. Yep, otherwise the RCS works. It is a huge model. I thought about making my own model of it. Uh, but it seemed sad to waste the efforts of NASA on this. And so I just sort of simplified it. But as it turns out, I mean, it would have worked great if we could just get that other solar panel to extend. And maybe fix the way the solar panels look sometime, from that angle. That lighting angle. It's okay like this, not okay like that. But, any, but maybe the real ones are like that, I don't know. So anyway, that's Psyche Spacecraft, and I hope everybody enjoys the launch tomorrow, and I'll try to work on it eventually. I do get sidetracked by things, hopefully by the time it reaches its destination or something like that. But I'll put what I've got right now in the video description just in case, maybe in a different install, the other solar panel will pop out. For all I know, it could work for you guys. But it is a hefty mod, so... It is a sort of special use case sort of thing. Anyway, so with uh, hopefully the real spacecraft does not meet this fate of only having one solar panel extended, though that would pretty much only mean that it was limited in terms of how much thrust it could use from its ion thrusters. So it could probably still survive that, but let's not have that happen. Hopefully we're getting this particular issue out of the way before the launch. So yes, with that, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.